What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my terrific channel. Guys, what's going on? Today, we have a very special guest. This is... Great job, we're the Crown Professor Bong! Follow me. Oh, wait, like that? How do you make that sound so loud? What's wrong with your tongue? Mine is just... <laughs> this sounds like I'm like... Ah, no, no, ah, no, ah. no, Today, we have Shibong TV, guys. He came all the way from Daegu? Kumi. Gumi, right? It's the same thing, mm -hmm. right? Same he came shit. all the way to Seoul to hang out with me today, and we also have another special guest over here, Maxi. Today, guys, we are going to be reading a scary story with Shibong. I think that's going to be interesting because usually I read my scary stories alone. Today, we have a special guest. So before we get started, Shibong, you want to tell them about your channel a little bit? Yes, um, I, I, I'm really, I'm really excited that I'm talking with Terry in this same frame, you know. I think my friends will be really excited that I'm with you. And my channel is all about bullshit about Shibong. <laughs> I mean, bullshit about you, right? Yeah, I'm just joking. Yeah, I'm mainly um, taking care about Korean culture, like anything that's about uh, K-pop, Korean culture, or anything you're curious about K-pop. So, yeah. So if you guys have anything that questions or anything that you want to talk about K-pop or mm. learn something about Korea, mm. Shibong is your guy. Definitely go check him out. I'm going to leave all of his links down below. Sorry for my English. <laughs> nah, no worries, mm. dude. All right. So today's story, we're going to be reading something that had like enough personalities, enough characters for me and him to read. So today we're going to be reading Apartment by Joanna. Warning, the following is a special chiller thriller, which may include shocking scenes. Viewer discretion is advised for pregnant women, the elderly, and those with weak hearts. Turn up your volume when reading chillers for more immersive experience. Turn up your volume, guys, okay? You're gonna thank me later. All right, let's see, in the first panel, it looks like a note or something. What does it say? You wanna read it? Yep. No security deposit, 280 to 380 dollar month. Shared washing machines, food provided, short long-term welcome, same day move in. So I guess this is some kind of advertisement for an apartment. $280 to $380 a month, that's not bad at all. Shared washing machine, okay, you gotta you gotta wash your clothes sharing it with someone else, that's, that's not too bad. Short long-term welcome, same day move in. Mm -hmm. No security deposit, dude! That, that's hella good. I paid freaking like a lot of money, too much for my apartment. We fast forward a little bit. We didn't read the story, but we saw the characters. Shibang's gonna play a really interesting character later and I'm gonna play this girl. But for now, there's just this one guy. I think he's only in two panels, so I'm just gonna read him real quick. Hello? Is anyone there? The sign says, be quiet, man. Why is he talking? Jeez, this guy, can you believe him? All right, he's at the information desk. Oh, <laughs> there's your dude. What brings you here? Ugh, dude, talk about it. Igor Central. If you had to pick a name for him, what would you name him? He kind of looks like an Igor, right? Igor. Yeah, Igor. So what about... Or maybe like a e Grundle? Egoblin. Egoblin? <laughs> oh yeah, dude, he kind of does look like a goblin. Goblin, yeah. That was, that was gonna be pretty good. Mm. I'm looking for someone. He hands him a note. And what does the note say? Oh, it's a picture. Never mind. The girl on the right. Isn't she staying here? Oh, that's the girl I'm gonna be playing. Oh, don't tell me. I'm, I'm the girlfriend of myself, dude. I'm my girlfriend and my boyfriend. She's my girlfriend, but I can't seem to get in touch with her right now. <laughs> You think you could help me? He nods his head. The creepy guy, aka Shibong, looks at the photograph but says nothing. <laughs> That's saying nothing, guys. It looks like a flashback of the girl's point of view. Mm -hmm. My apartment? I'll just have to leave it empty for a while. I'm too scared to go back. I don't care about the money. I'd rather not run into that creep. Oh, that's... Probably ya boy over here. Seriously, he's a psycho. I told him I wanted to break up, and I thought he was going to kill me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. I think she's talking about me. I mean, my, my other half. So I'm, I'm a psycho boyfriend? Oh, that sucks. What did I do wrong? Psycho. <laughs> I have these awful bruises and scratches all over. If I went to the hospital, would they give me a written diagnosis for this? I've got to put him in jail. I really hope she's not talking about me. I mean, the other guy. I couldn't sleep at all. I kept pretending I wasn't at home. But that freak stayed out in the front door until like 4 a.m. Oh, wait, maybe she's not talking about me. She's talking about you. No, maybe Max. <laughs> I couldn't even turn on the light. What good would the police do? They just tell us to make up. But I don't get it. She called him his boyfriend. Do you think you and her are dating? Um, I used to be a makeup artist, so. <laughs> good make... enough reason, right? <laughs> so that's why they tell you to make up, right? Oh, makeup. Okay, I don't think that's exactly what they meant, but that'll work. Artist. 
Do you have any free apartments? I just need a place to sleep. I'll take the cheapest one you've got. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I think I know what's going on. Okay, so now she's talking to Shibong, right? So she is talking about me. So me, the dude from the beginning who was looking for her, apparently is a really creepy boyfriend. She's trying to get away from me, so she goes to see Shibong, who's the manager of this hotel, to get a room and escape. Uh, but uh, something tells me she's in for a lot worse than that. All right, this is all you. The second floor is all women. There's a kitchen. Why are left here? No, it's just, your, left your voice is, is just perfect for the role. The second floor is all women. There's a kitchen and laundry room at the end of the hall. There's a free rice, kimchi, and ramen in the kitchen. And coffee. You won't find another building around the clan as this one. I'm in charge of the place, and I'll take good care of it. All right. It seems like the two walk down the hallway. The manager shows her to her new room, and hopefully not to her eternal resting place. The rooms are very well soundproofed. The ones you just saw is $340 a month, with no extra fees. Not bad. Ah, one second. The girl reaches into her bag. It looks like she's about to take that room. Ah, I'm looking for a place to stay right now. She seems to be on the phone with someone. Hopefully it's not the crazy boyfriend. I was too embarrassed to tell anyone. My mom, she thought I'd freak out and tell me to come home. What, am I crazy? It would be four hours to commute to work. I'll just stay somewhere in secret for a month or two. And it seems like the creepy dude, aka Sibong, is making a really weird face. He's listening into their conversation, but we don't know what he's thinking. What do you think he's thinking? Then move out when the apartment lease expires, or at least as long as that crazy freak doesn't find me. For now, I'm looking for a place near work. It's a secret. I'll call you later. She's having this conversation, like literally with the manager right there. Like it's a little bit weird, like to talk about your personal life right in front of the manager of your new like room. That's crazy. I, I wouldn't do that, dude. Nah. No what a bitch. What? <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, sorry guys, I mean. Well. <laughs> Bonbons, I mean, you know. <laughs> More of just like, like what an idiot, you know? <laughs> but yeah, okay, she, she could be a bee as well. Yeah. <laughs> if you really just want to sleep here, there's one apartment with just a bed frame. Right now, it's just a storage room. But if you want it, I can clear it out for you today. It has a tile floor since it was going to be a bathroom. But then the plan changed. It's $130 per month. Dude, that is so cheap. I'm ex I'm really curious to see what the room looks like for only $130. $130? Could I see it first? Absolutely, sure, my girl. For any room that's $130 a month, do not stay there, guys. Okay, please, just stop it. Mm -hmm. Get some help. Mm -hmm. It appears to be room 107. Yeah. Ah, looks like you have some other stuff in there. You know what? That's why it's $130 a month. That is liter That is a closet, man. I think that's the bed right there. You got a bucket to pee and poop in. You got a, a saw to cut your legs and limbs off, you know, in case, you, you know, you're taking up too much space. Got a blender. I guess you can blend your arms and legs. You know what? I'm thinking too much. We're reading a horror comic. I'm getting way too into it. Could I turn on the light? The two people stand in the doorway. Only shadows can be seen. Just then, click, he turns on the light. Huh? I is that a glass ceiling? Wait, it's only glass above the bed. That's creepy, man. Why you got a glass ceiling right above her bed? So what are you gonna do, like watch her sleep? That's what my mom did, I didn't. Your mom did that to you? <laughs> what the heck? Is that why you left to Australia? Ah, uh, true. <laughs> I miss my mom. Oh man, seriously though, what do you think, what do you think this is for? Or what's your theory? Mm, security reasons, maybe? Security reasons? Yes. <laughs> Having glass right above someone's sleeping area? He, so you, you can know, he, he, Or, you know, for money, he could, mm, he could make a porno <laughs> with... <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The sad thing is that it makes actual perfect sense. On the black market, you know how much you can make for, like, illegal explicit porno <laughs> Not that I know, but, I mean... Have you? No! Jesus! Just, I just... Everybody knows, okay? in Korea, you can't watch it here. But I heard that like it sells for pretty expensive. I'll call the, the police market. for you, baby. Well, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> hey, I didn't do nothing. My hands be clean. He's the creepy dude. Who put the glass above her bed. Blame him. My mom did. <laughs> How am I supposed to sleep with that above me? I'm afraid of it breaking. There's no way it's a break. It's 70 centimeters thick. It seems like the creepy manager is pouring some <laughs> yellow liquid onto some piece of cloth. I think it's highlighted for a reason. Just then. <laughs> Oh! The crazy dude seems to gag her with chloroform, it appears to be. He grabs her wrist, he puts it right over her mouth, and then she passes out. 
The glass is very thick, so it won't break. In case you're wondering, it's 70 centimeters thick. Okay, I think it's time for the crazy psychotic boyfriend to come back now, please, and maybe save her. Oh, maybe they get together. Like, even though he's crazy psychotic, he saved her from someone who's even more crazy and psychotic. It weighs 3.5 tons. That's 3,500 kilograms. Come thyself. I took Shibong to get some coffee with me before we filmed today. I think he's, uh, I think he's had a little too much caffeine. Later that day, it appears the woman wakes up. Ugh. Mm. She wakes up. And then she realizes, <laughs> I think she her face is stuck up against the glass. Oh, uh, is it? Reiki! Reiki! The man from before is there, and he looks at her, but he appears to be behind glass. <sighs> oh my god, dude, you're actually drooling, like, on the glass. What the heck? Are you uncomfortable? I bet you are, since you're squeezed under the thing. Oh my gosh, so he put her in the glass, and now she's stuck in this really small claustrophobic area, and he's above her just watching her. The woman can do nothing as she's squeezed into this sarcophagus of a tomb. Who knows how she's gonna get out? The creepy manager seems to touch this wheel or something, and it, I think he's gonna turn it. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me. He spins it, and it starts to squeeze her more. It appears that he's squeezing her and the glass becomes even thinner on top of her body. Don't cry, baby. It's never pretty when people die. Dude, she, it, ne it doesn't say baby, man. Why are you exaggerating? The thick guy, he, he is so into... The thick guy? Thick, that's, a, that's a good description. Yeah. yeah, thick guy, he loves a thin woman, you know, a oh. skinny woman. That's why he's trying to make the woman skinnier. Oh, dude, that's... Yeah, dude, he likes his women skinny, so... She's too thick right now. She's trying to he's trying to make her real skinny. There's no need to feel embarrassed. The wheel continues to spin, and it looks like the man puts his head down on the glass. He peers down through and looks at the woman as she begins to get squished and squished and then Oh my god. Oh! He really just did that. What the fuck, dude? You you killed her. Me? You well, not you, you, but you, her, did, your character. Did I? Wasn't me. It appears that we're now back to the guy's point of view. So this all happened in the past, and now we're at the present. She's staying here, right? I can tell that you know her. I've been looking for her for ages. <laughs> Surely you can help me. The man looks at the photograph. Okay, but what do you... I'm her boyfriend, but we had a little fight. He holds up some kind of little present. So I was going to give her this as a surprise, but she won't answer my calls. You know how girls like this kind of surprises. I want to give her a really good shock. Don't worry, I'll be very quiet. Girls are tough to please, I tell you. Dating a girl. The man continues talking as he holds up the gift. Dude, I'm a little concerned, like, what, what's in the what's in the box, man? What, what's in the box? What's in the box? You're really her boyfriend, right? She's in 107. Just try to keep it down. The creepy manager gives him the photograph back. There's an Arovi on the first floor. Would you like to go in and wait in her room? Sure, if that's okay. It's the last door in the hall. Go on ahead. I'll get the door for you in a minute. Sure, thanks. The man walks down the hall to the same room. Oh my gosh, your dude's got a hammer, dude. He's gonna... You're gonna... We dead. And just then... Cut to Sunny Hills Student Residence Review Anonymous Comments 3 Views 79 Medium price range 280 to 380 dollars a month Good soundproofing clean It says the kimchi they serve is made in Korea Not sure if that's true The landlord is kinda creepy Stay away from 106 The boiler room's right next to it And I've heard it's noisy when the boiler's running Room 106 Well 107 is the room that she got crushed in, right? Oh my gosh, so if you're in 106 You're gonna hear 107, right? Oh that's what the noise is, dude. It's people getting crushed, I bet. Anonymous 277 report. I stayed there for four months. The landlord is kind of ugly. Am I? <laughs> no, man. You're 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 a, a seal of fortune. Still, he always accepts package for our tenants and keeps the place clean. Next one is from Poster. Yeah, he cleans constantly, but didn't the smell of bleach give you headaches? Ha ha! And the last one is from another anonymous 277. Yeah, lol. He's always disinfecting the place. At least there aren't any bugs around. And that is the end of the story. That's it? We didn't even... Th where's the catharsis? Come on, where, where's the satisfaction in the end? I don't know. Well, uh, thoughts, concerns, comments about this story, guys? What do you think about the ending? Do you think that room 107 is 
the boiler room that they were talking about, and that's what was noisy? I, I'm still thinking, you know, 130 per month, that's... Man, you're still thinking about how cheap it is per month? You know why it's so cheap? Because you get crushed in it, okay? He's going to keep your 130 a month, and then you're going to get crushed, okay? You're going to be a piece of paper. Is that what you want? No. You want to be a piece of paper, guys? Is that what you want? You want to be a piece of origami? Yeah? Gonna fold you five ways. So what do you think about this oh, story? Well, I, I think I, I think that this guy literally just murders people and then he crushes them with his 70 centimeters of glass thickness and the loud noises. I guess that is what the people were complaining about, saying it's the boiler room right next to them. But it's actually people maybe screaming or just the sound of their bones getting crushed. Dude, that is horrifying i'm just disappointed that there was no like payoff in the end like i really wanted to either have the boyfriend rescue the girl or, or the evil landlord get caught but you know what in the creepy stories that we usually read guys that's how they usually end so i i guess I, at least i could say i'm not surprised and i think the writers are the pure evil <laughs> for coming up with this sick stuff yeah there's no way is a break it's 70 centimeters thick. But yeah, guys, let us know what you think about this story down below in the comments. Big shout out to Seabong TV for joining us today. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Did you have fun reading the story? Yes, it was uh, amazing. You, I think you got really into the character. Mm. I think it was really a character for you. Yay! <laughs> Max is now permanently traumatized. <laughs> Anyways, guys, be sure to check out Seabunk's channel. I'll leave his link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Good night.